These are Ukraine's civilian defenders. Local residents taking up arms and ready to fight. From here. Ah, and that's his blood on the ground. It's, it's his blood. Already here in a suburb of the capital, Kiev, there's been blood spilled. One small bullet. My people was here and uh, covered by this. A deadly contact between these volunteers and Russian forces. Oh, yeah. I've never been in a, I've never served in the army. You've never served in the army? Volunteers no. like Yuri, who was an economic analyst, he tells me, before this Russian invasion made him a fighter. So you shot a gun in school, you work in an office, but now you're defending your, country, your city? Correct. I, I didn't think I would uh, join the, uh, this unit uh, just two days ago. I thought that, you know, I don't know how to handle guns. And, and yesterday it came to me that, uh, you know, Russians are in the city. I mean, I mean it's, it's, had, it's close to the point that I have completely uh, changed my mind and I have decided that, you know, I should do something about it. Just hours before, this northern Kiev suburb of Obolon was the scene of firefights as Russian forces probe the Ukrainian capital. Now the entire city and its residents are bracing and preparing for more. Oh, there's, a, there's a petrol bombs? Yes. There's your Molotov cocktails? Yes. Show me. This is my javelin. This is what I have to use to stop the tank. These are your Molotov cocktails, your petrol bombs. Right. Yes! And you made these yourself? No! The people from this building bring me this. The, 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 the people from the from local... From this building, they bring me this. And they may be needed soon. Very soon. As we left the building, ah, more Akalina. shots ring out. Akalina. As Russia's assault on the city seems at hand. Well, we are still in the middle of a curfew here in Ukraine's capital. That is not just because the situation is so dangerous and uh, Kyiv officials want to keep their citizens off the streets, but because they also fear that there are teams of Russian saboteurs uh, operating in the city. Now, throughout the morning and into the afternoon, we have heard uh, several large blasts in just the past few moments. Uh, there have been some coming uh, from the northeast outside of the city. It is often uh, difficult to tell where exactly those are happening, but all of this comes after a very tense night in which we were uh, hearing warnings of what could have been a wide-scale Russian bombardment of the city. Uh, that did not really materialize, but in the early morning hours just after midnight, there were two significant explosions uh, to the southwest of the city. That is near uh, Kyiv's second largest airport. And now we are also seeing significant fighting uh, in Russia, in Ukraine's second biggest city, Kharkiv, uh, in the northeastern part of the country uh, that is near the Russian border. Uh, there are uh, street battles going on between Ukrainian and Russian forces, uh, the citizens of Kharkiv being told uh, to stay inside their homes and to take shelter. But it is clear on day four of this Russian invasion that it is not going according to their plan. They are struggling a lot more uh, than they certainly anticipated. They do not have air supremacy. They are not controlling the skies over Ukraine. Their forces are coming up against significant uh, Ukrainian resistance. Uh, their personnel are being killed. Uh, their armor and their tanks are being destroyed. Their supply lines are being stretched. They're having a difficult time uh, getting things like fuel. Uh, foreign experts, military officials are impressed with the way uh, that Ukraine's military has been holding up, but it is clear uh, that they are facing an overwhelming force. President Zelensky just this morning, again, calling for not just Ukrainians to take up arms against Russian troops, but saying that anybody from abroad who wants to come here and fight against the Russians, they too will be armed by Ukraine. Susan?